Hey, what's up fellow selfie box 96 users? I just want to let you know that I just recently upgraded to the compact controller. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this controller, the big controller. They both pretty much do the same thing, but this one is way easier to use and I will show you why. So this is um, the, the original controller that it shipped with and it's very cool backlit but uh, like nine out of ten people don't know how to program this box which is why I upgraded to the compact box with the dial and let me show you some of the differences real quick so on both it's the same you have uh, the power port right here which you connect the um, power cord to and then you have the uh, XLR port for the XLR cable, probably a DMX. And here is the compact version. Let me show you. There it is. Same thing. You have the power port and the, the XLR port. So I'm going to plug those two in. What I really like about the compact version is, first of all, I like the digital readout. So, and it's got a dial on it. So if it's going too fast, if your arm is going too fast, you can easily slow it down. Look at the numbers, it's at 90, now it's at 80%. Take it down to like 60%. You can see it's going slow. And if I needed to speed it up, I'll just turn the dial. And then if I want it to stop, I'll press the button. Boom, it stops. That's it. Everything on this box comes pre-programmed. You can adjust it. It's like the other box. Nobody knows uh, what each button does. And if you need help with that, I can help you. But something else that's really cool about the new compact box is that it ships with a remote control for no additional cost. So it has basically two buttons on it, A and B. A is go, B is stop. So when you have this, Compact box connected. You could be away from the unit. I'm pretty close to it right now. And you can start it with a remote. So I will press A. You'll hear it click on. Boom, it'll start spinning. And same thing, if you think it's going too fast, you can easily slow it down. You can stop it from the controller or you can also stop it from the remote. So I will press B and you'll click it and here it turn off. So definitely, uh, they both do the same thing. Nothing wrong with this one. If you know how to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if you know how to program it, if not, I would go with this controller. It's pre-programmed, so easy to use, anybody can understand. If you have any questions, hit me on the comments below.